Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to be trying something a little bit different. So for my birthday this past year, my husband got me the those kinds of travel scratch-off maps. Um, these ones are from, these are Enovati maps or Enovati, I'm not sure how you say it, but I've got the smaller one and then, and then I've also got the much bigger one. And I've been wanting to display these for a while, but I wasn't quite sure how I wanted to do it because I wasn't really going for the look of just taping them up to the wall. So after doing some thinking, I was like, well, what if I just got a cheap frame and then took out the plastic and just hung that up and then I could still scratch it off and display it at the same time. So what I did was I went online in Ikea and I got this big, big frame. It's super cheap. I think it was like, I don't know, somewhere between five and 10 pounds probably. And it is 61 by 91 centimeters, which is 24 by 35 and three quarters inches. Um, this is not the exact size of the scratch map, but I think it will fit inside the border area here and be able to display that way. But I'm gonna give it a shot and we're gonna find out how it works. So I can already tell this is definitely just a cheap, flimsy type of frame, but I didn't really care that much because all I needed is to hold this one thing and I'm gonna be taking out the plastic. So I didn't want to spend, you know, a ton. So I'm going to go ahead and take the back off and see if I can get this to work. So now that I've got the back of it taken out and the plastic part, I'm going to see if I can tape the map to the back of this and get it all to sit back in here. into just a bit of a slight problem this the square in this is too small to be able to see the whole map so I'm gonna go to plan B and my thought is get rid of that is that I'm going to tape the map directly oh, focus so I'm going to tape the map directly to this back piece and just put that back in the frame and hopefully that'll work better So I'm going to try my best to line it up on either side and get it as in middle of the cardboard as I can. And all I'm going to do so you don't see the tape is I'm just going to fold it in half and so just create my own double sided tape with this. So now I'm just going to go all the way around the border of the map doing a tape on each corner and one in the middle. So now that the map's entirely taped down, let's get the frame and put it back on and see if this looks okay. Okay, so now we have it all finished here in the frame, just like that. After I put the tape along the back, I did go around with some clear tape along the outside of the edges and you really, really can't see it. So I don't think it's gonna matter that much. 
Um, but yeah, I think it actually turned out really well. And I'm going to be hanging it on this wall behind me where the Christmas tree is right now. I did go ahead and scratch off a few countries just because I kind of had to. And so when I put it up, I'll have scratched off the ones I've actually been to. So I think this is a great way to display scratch maps if you don't want to just tape them up to your walls. This gives it a little bit more of like a, this gives it a little bit more of a decorated type of feel and I think it's going to go really nice in the room that I'm hanging it in. So after looking at the map for a little bit, I decided to make a change. Um, what I did was I just took the back piece here out and we covered it all the way in black paper, just a regular crafting paper, and then we super glued the map on top of that. And I think it gives it a little bit more of a cleaner, classier look than just having it on the um, brown back sheet thing. Um, that also I thought looked good too, so it depends on what kind of look you're going for, but I thought I'd show you how I changed it up a little bit. And yeah, so, oh, hi Smokey. That's gonna be it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you tried this method of hanging your scratch map, Take a picture and tweet it to me. My Twitter will be down below in the description. And let me know if you guys have one of these, if you've got the same brand. I really like this one. And give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it.